Core 6 Media is creating a one-of-a-kind experience for those who are visually impaired. This cause is very personal for Core 6 Media's founder, Christian Newton. He was declared legally blind in 2011. He, like most boys in the 70s and 80s, grew up on comic books. It was his desire to share his love of comics with others. In the early 2000s, he created a single-issue series called Distant Voices. Unfortunately, it only lasted a single issue, but Christian never gave up his dream. Fast forward to 2011. Christian is told his eyesight has deteriorated quickly. He lost complete vision in his left eye and partial vision in his right. Down but not out, Christian was determined to get back into the career of his dreams. He went to the state of Arizona Vocational Rehabilitation and there they offered him helpful services and he ended up going to the Foundation for the Blind Children in Phoenix. After six intense months of having to relearn how to live on his own again, Christian began his pursuit of comic books once again. After a two-year loss of focus, Christian posted in a Facebook fan page for the Phoenix Comic Con about his vision. Within just weeks of that posting, he was asked to present his idea at the 2015 Phoenix Comic Con. In the months leading up to that big exciting day, Christian built up a team of artists and voice actors and together created Stan's Adventures. They completed the first page of the soon-to-be ongoing web comic and presented it at their panel at Phoenix Comic Con 2015. Stan's Adventures in Comics for the Visually Impaired was a hit. We have Christian, the creator and writer of Stan's Adventures today, also the head honcho of Corsix Media. Christian, thank you for coming. Oh, you're very welcome. And uh, my first question would be, what inspired you to start this project? Um, being declared legally blind um, it kind of helped start all of this. I've read comics since I was six, and they've been a very large part of my life. And um, I've noticed over the last couple of years that it's gotten harder and harder for me to actually read um, some of my favorite comic books. And um, I posted in the Phoenix Comic Con fan page, uh, the Blue Ribbon Army, about why there were no panels on comic books in the visually impaired. Well, Jim Smith and a lot of other local creators kind of got behind that and uh, next thing I know I get asked to put on a panel for this year's Phoenix Comic Con and I chose out of all the stories that that we had that the easiest one to do would be Stan's Adventures and um, I'm kind of glad that I that I picked that one. How are you hoping to impact the community when you started? Uh, this project? I'm hoping that um, it'll bring awareness to not just the, the small small press companies that are out there, but to some of the bigger ones like Marvel and DC and, and Image and Dark Horse, that even though there are people out there with visual impairments, they can still be entertained by their characters. Um, I grew up with these comic books, Batman and Superman and Spider-Man and X-Men and Avengers, and it's to see somebody new experience those characters for the very first time in a way that is beneficial to them will just make my heart grow even larger. It, it's something that, that I want to impact everybody who not just is visually impaired, but has dyslexia or ADHD. You know, I want them to experience these characters in a new and exciting way. Why? So what makes this different than other animated comics that you can find on YouTube? This one is not actually animated. That's the, the, the difference between um, Santa Adventures and most of the other comic books that are out there, because a lot of them um, have motion comics and they're actually almost on par with a fully animated cartoon. My Stan's Adventures will actually just be a comic book page with the narration of the descriptions for the visually impaired, as well as actors portraying the characters that 
um, you a, a normal sighted person would see on the page. So that way the person, the listener, will actually be able to distinguish between um, the different characters that, that are on the page. Core 6 Media presents Stan's Adventures, created by Christian Newton and Ian Tan. Written by Christian Newton. Art by Heather Moffat. Hey, Vera. Have you seen Bungwala? Mm. Morning, Verge. Yeah, he's in the kitchen. How many times have I told you not to call me that? Mm. At last count... 23,159,637. Oh, for the love of... Get back to work, Vera. Mm. I am working here. I never stopped working. I am always working. 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 Yeah. Bungwala! Stan Moman. Just in time, man. My new creation just finished cooking. You wanna try? Is this the Mega Magnospheric Carnivorous Super Special? With extra jeep jeeps. I told you, man. Mmm, that smells divine. Help yourself, man. Don't mind if I do. Oh, joy. I have a mess to clean up again. Oh, oh yeah, man. That is the way I munch it down now. Yeah. 